don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement I don't ever slow up No, I don't take shit I got no love for the fakeness If you wanna play tough and wanna hate this I'll always show up and make a statement Everything I do so instinctive and so passionate Every word I move so descriptive like an adjective I got a vendetta against people who patented Being that What's up guys, Master Styles here, back with another Eternal Evolution video, and today we finally got our copy of Ahsoka. So first off, before I even jump into the gameplay, I just want to say that, you know, when it comes to this pack here, as you can see, it's a hundred dollars, and what do you get? So you get two copies of Ahsoka plus some gene hybrids shards and red runes obviously those two other things don't really I'm not really gonna do much in terms of progressing her but you know this is the first time I've seen you being able to get two characters for a hundred dollars so that's one of the things that it has going on minus the fact that it's a hundred dollars but what I would suggest you do is, you know, when it comes to this, just go in, where is it, the store, just wait. Honestly, just wait. Just wait, pick her up for free, put jeans in her and invest in her. And, you know, if you have enough jeans, bring it to a mortal. Other than that, there's no need to, I, I don't suggest you spend that money because again, there's still two other heroes to come in. I'm pretty sure they're probably gonna do something else. They're probably gonna drop another collab pass, which they're probably going to, I could see them doing that. But as for her, I have her already at Legendary 2. I did do some testing with her at Mythic 2. At Mythic 2, you don't really see that big damage, but when she gets to Legendary 2, oh boy. Watch out, you watch out now. So I did a I did a fight with her, but one thing that I did do is um we're gonna challenge a fight here. One thing I realized too is that um if you take out the summoners, right? If you take out the summoners and you put in Dominic, Purin's gonna die because of the big missiles that the mech shoots out. If it hits a hero twice, it ends up doing more damage. So you kind of want the summon in there if you're gonna keep Purin, uh, try to, if you want to keep Purin alive. So this one, we're gonna do a run through. And one thing that I also would want, if you have this, right? So for her, what I'm gonna do is go into here. I'm actually gonna take the gear off of Dominic, right? So that's what I did. This is one thing that I did to actually increase my score a little bit, because without doing this, Toko. No, I don't really think that's too much crit damage. So let's replace that and don't forget to put it back, you know, if you do switch. So I'm gonna replace her gear, leave the rest the way that they are, and try to, you know, get some more damage on her. This prototype here wouldn't be bad with her because she has this big, huge shield. And we're gonna run that just, just for the sake of the video. So here, Purin, um, Shinji, the hunter hero, and Ahsoka. So let's, let me look at this real quick. Yeah, they're in the right spot. I just wanted to see. So let's just see how they do. This is full auto. And just watch her damage. Watch her damage and see what she can do. So Shinji is actually doing pretty good because he is immortal and he has, and he is hyper evolved. So he is gonna do a lot more damage. But her damage is very, very good when, when you use, if you, if you, if I was using, so if I was using the other prototype, the other prototype does more damage here. Cause I was thinking that, you know, the shield would explode, but again, I guess she's not really taking that much damage for the seal to explode. So right now we're at, we're gonna I'm gonna start it over. So it made 14 million points at what is that? 40 seconds, right? 
let's switch that out and go with um because again she's gonna be the main damage dealer so we're gonna go here and we're actually gonna put haggard on so now i need to move her up front put this here because of where the stat bonuses are we can put her there she's just a stat stick anyways all right let's see the difference so now her damage should ramp up because she's now gonna be the main damage dealer. And I think that's the one thing that we do need is a commander for them because it's very frustrating where you, it, this is such a mismatched team, like who do you focus on? And it's hard if you don't put a commander or a prototype for them. I think that's what they did next step. See, we're already at 14 million at 30 seconds, 15, right? And that's one thing that I noticed is that putting the, your gears, like putting your better gears on them if you're really trying to compete against this. If you're not, then you can just swap on whatever gears you want. But I definitely see an increase in my score once I put the immortal gears on on them. And then the run that I did where I got 33 million, I pretty much put immortal gear on all three of the, what do you call these things? The Evangelions. But again, I'm just doing a run through here just to show you guys her damage. And look at her damage, she's way ahead. Obviously, it is catering towards her, so her damage is gonna be that high. But again, should you go run to go spend $100? Not necessarily, you don't really need it because again, the increase that I got was pretty much what? Another, I wanna say four million because I was doing 29 without her. And even here, as you can see, I only did 1 million points more, so. So 32 million, not bad, you know, for just adding her. I think if, we were, if she was at a mortal, we could definitely get some more damage out of her. But again, when it comes to her, I'm, I can't really say too much about her because I, I like having my heroes that are mortal EX30, hyper evolved, and that's when I can really start seeing what they're really made of. Because again, she's doing crazy damage for Legendary 2. And I already know, I noticed this about a lot of these um, new heroes. Uh, I wanna say, once they get to Legendary, they start to out DPS a lot of the old heroes. So let's slap that back on there before I forget. And also put that back there. So, but another thing I would love to see is um, new gear. We need new gear. The new gear that we need is uh, kind of like the bug gear here. We need uh, one for mechs, one for deities. And I think, what, what I forgot what the other thing is, but I feel like a, a double, a two set like that for, you know, mechs would be awesome because again, you definitely run into the mechs a lot. And one thing that I want, I would love for them to do for the, la for the last boss, I would want it to be the Vanguard one. Because again, everybody already have a good Dominic. If you're a new player, then sorry, you know, you probably don't, but for most of the people that are up here, they pretty much have a good Dominic. But one of the showing I wanna do is put her here in um, Roulette of Truth. This is level 12 and yeah, put her right up front. This is a survival test to see what she can do. It's unfortunate. No, actually I wanna buy that. Let me go back real quick. I wanna buy it. I don't wanna burn through that. Let's buy it. So we'll go through this real quick, you know. Hopefully we don't lose. There we go. Yeah, I just didn't want to put you guys through that. So let's just get to it. On uh, here, let's just see her damage and can she survive being the main target? So it's gonna, the boss here is gonna focus primarily on her. But that shield that she has makes me want to put her with the vanguards. I think her with the vanguards with the impulsive annihilation in PVP might be very interesting. So here, interestingly enough, Matoko has more damage than anybody else. She's actually pretty close to Sam. 
you know sam does better with you know more targets or for single targets she's all right she's doing okay you know and again dominic is probably focusing on the ad sometimes instead of focusing on the boss but overall she is doing perfectly fine at legendary too and of course i want to get her to a model and do some testings yeah so i'm out of gene hybrids and pretty much now with the next two new heroes coming out i don't even know what to do and it's tough you know it's tough it's gonna be tough for everybody because again with all of the heroes that they added it just doesn't make any sense that you didn't put any resources in the game to back that up so here her damage is still less than sam sam just died here is coming back and keeping up with sam at legendary too keep in mind that sam is hyper evolved immortal 120 and i he has some immortal gear on him i think he has two the the feet and the head the helm yeah what is going on now oh boy but you know when it comes to her i think she's she does a lot of damage don't get me wrong it's just the setting where i feel like with these assassins they were more developed than her so the fact that she's sticking around and still doing a good amount of damage which is i'm impressed i'm very impressed by her and i can't wait to get her to immortal i do suggest that you know you wait take your time there's no rush because you get her for free versus making that purchase and we ran out of time strangely enough we ran out of time i don't even know how that that even happened i wasn't even paying attention to the time i really wasn't paying attention to the time but i know they could beat it i was not oh and also dominic is wearing bug gear sorry so i'm not gonna put you all through that again i don't know how we ran out of time there i wasn't even paying attention to the time but dominic was wearing the wrong uh gear and yeah but i know they could beat it because they i we i played them with her at mythic too so they can beat it it's just that i ran out of time there and i wasn't paying attention but actually you know what i can do it no no, no we're not gonna do it we're not gonna sit through that we're not gonna sit through that but um let's get out of here it's fine they can beat it they beat it early i, I just wasn't paying attention to the time there i don't know what, what happened there but before we get out of here one thing i want to talk about is hell arena hell arena Hellfighter, I'm in Hellfighter, and the competition over here is very stiff, you know, you have the, I think this is like the first batch within my server, slash, you know, the other servers, the mixture of servers, this is like the first batch, because you still have one, two, three, four, five, six, six bots over there, so that just tells me that a lot of people haven't gotten to here yet, which is okay with me, that means that I can pretty much get more resources until the other people come up. So for me, I'm gonna retain, I'm pretty, I should retain my ranking here because again, you know, there's a couple people in here that I can beat. Some of my, some of my guild mates are in there, shout out to them. And there's a couple people in here that I can't even light a candle to, especially my main guild mate over there, Ben, Benzo. So, Again, I know it's a quick one. I will do my impression video on her. So normally this is just me talking a little bit about should you make that purchase or not? Not really worth picking up. Should you invest in her? Let's look at the, should you invest in her? I'll wait just to see what the other heroes are. I do these things so you don't have to and you know what you should do. So if you're new to my content, make sure you hit the subscribe button. If it does are rocking with me, make sure you hit the like button. Until the next video, peace.